around uh, year 2005, we were starting to study these phenomena. And uh, the first application we picked on is actually biosensing. Because if you deplete the ion from one side, and then what that means is that you actually have a very uh, controllable forms of uh, mobilizing charged particles in the system, including the biomolecules. So the first engineering device we came up with based on this principle was uh, a concentrator. So we would make a device that concentrate the biomolecule in you know, one location. So instead of having very small, low concentration biomolecule sample, we actually would concentrate these biomolecules in a small region. So locally, you would collect them. So it would be at higher concentration, so it's much easier to detect them. So we would apply this as a front end to any kinds of biosensing systems. So that's the first thing we did. Uh, and later, uh, we realized that what we are moving is not just the biomolecules, but the ions itself, you know, salt contain, contained in the system. So that's where we got the ideas of actually moving the salt in the water. And perhaps by doing so, we can actually desalinate or uh, removing the salt from the water. So that work, that idea came to us around the year 2008. We started working on that uh, idea in the lab. We got the preliminary result on that uh, around 2009, 10. So we, we actually published our first desalination paper in 2010. So, you know, it's the same principle, but we are using it for different industry. So it, because you can move the ions away or draw the ion in, you can actually use that phenomena to push the ions around and desalinate the water from uh, um, even from the seawater to the freshwater level. One of the interesting characteristics of this ion concentration polarization desalination process is that uh, not only you remove the salt away from the water, you also remove the uh, larger charged colloid particles, cells, bacteria, proteins, and other And the, the reason is that it the mechanism of operation is different from other techniques. Like, you know, a, for example, reverse osmosis is a filtration process. You bring everything to, to the membrane, you capture everything at the membrane. So that's why you can indeed separate cells and bacteria, but then it creates another problem of fouling. Um, ED, electrodialysis, is uh, specific to salt. So it can remove the salt by drawing the salt using the electric field, but uh, maybe cannot separate these large particles and cells. So I think uh, the one very clear benefit of ion concentration polarization based technique is that, you know, in a single same step, we can actually remove all the salt and bacteria and cells together. Uh, a newer application we got into is uh, actually controlling another control of ion but in the context of the nerve. So the nerve is, uh, is a circuit wire in our body in, in a way. And the way it conducts is that it's, it's based on the ion current in and out of the membrane. So the nerve cell naturally maintains a certain ion concentration imbalances between the inside and outside of the cell. And when the signal comes in, the nerve opens up the uh, ion channel protein and then allow the ions to flow into the nerve cell and that's how the nerve conducts the signal that we need to think and move. Um, so, and we understood that uh, it is also based on or critically dependent on the concentrations of different ions around the nerve cell. So for example, it has been known for a long time for about 100 years that if you decrease the uh, calcium concentration around the nerve, then you can actually change the nerve's property. It, it can, you can make a uh, nerve to be hypersensitive. You can actually 
uh, excite the nerve with much lower amount of current. So that's where we got the idea. Maybe we can actually deplete the calcium concentration around the nerve and then make the nerve more active, more hypersensitive. And then that way we can actually build a better prosthetics because in the prosthetics you have a, a damaged nerve in some way, either cut out or crushed or some other way. And you want to artificially excite the nerve so that you can move the arms and muscle. So the current way of doing it is actually putting the electrode on and jetting the nerve, basically putting the elect electrical current into the nerve. Now, uh, if we can control the ion concentration of that location, you can actually make the nerve locally hypersensitive, so you don't need to apply higher amount of current. Uh, and that's where the idea came. So we actually started working on that around 2010 with the help of a, a, a clinical collaborator from Beth Israel Hospital. And again, it took us about two years and we, we published our first paper in last year, uh, 2011. And, and so it's very exciting to, to see that all these different, you know, industry and clinical problems and um, it, it can be, you know, all of these different things are actually merging at the fundamental level because you're still doing the same thing. You're still trying to control the ion concentration and affect the, the system you're trying to manipulate.